Before Jonah Hill would lose a ton of weight for his role in the 2011 film Moneyball, before Jonah Hill would regain 40 pounds for his performance in the 2015 movie War Dogs, after Jonah Hill would once again lose a bunch of weight in 2017 and chastise the media for their role in body shaming him throughout his career. When it comes to full body transformations, few examples are quite as pronounced as Jonah Hill's. After launching his career as a hilarious and lovable oddball in films like Superbad and Knocked Up, Jonah left an impression that was nearly impossible to shake. Ever since then, fans have watched him undergo a dramatic fluctuation in weight over the years, but it was never exactly clear if Jonah was shedding the pounds for his film roles or investing in a healthier lifestyle. Well, as it turns out, the truth is actually somewhere in between. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer and this series is titled Before and After. Today we're looking at Jonah Hill's transformation over the years, but if it were up to him, we wouldn't be talking about it at all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Jonah Hill first entered our lives playing bit roles in comedy films like I Heart Huckabees, The 40 Year Old Virgin and Grandma's Boy where he showed some clear cut comedic timing, despite hardly ever being on camera for more than a few moments at a time. Back then, Jonah was in his early 20s and had already been struggling with his self image for over 5 years. During an interview with Ellen in 2018, he explained that it was during his teenage years that his self perception began to alter and he would question his self-worth regularly. Trying to fit in with others in high school like the skaters or the hip-hop cliques was something he aspired to achieve but could never make happen. He continued to Ellen, You're trying to kind of hide from the world or it makes you feel a certain way. And even if you get success or you grow up or you become good looking or whatever, the things that you think will fix the thing you kind of carry some part of that with you. Hearing that quote, I think it gives you an understanding of the type of emotions Jonah has been wrestling with since he was very young. And while his career in Hollywood could definitely be considered the type of success he mentioned, even that wouldn't change how people perceived him. Starting in around 2006, Jonah began to take on bigger roles in the film industry. Accepted was one of his first co-starring credits and by the following year, he was headlining the film Superbad, arguably still his most infamous role. In Superbad, Jonah was able to perfectly channel all of his own complicated emotions of being a teenage outcast into one hilarious performance. But even though audiences and critics embraced him for his comedic abilities, Jonah was disappointed by how many of those same media outlets would document his career by, more often than not, focusing on his weight. Being called things like fat, gross, and unattractive really hurt him, even if he tried his best not to think about it. Still, this idea of transforming his body was always bubbling under the surface and in 2011, after accepting a role in the Brad Pitt film Moneyball, Jonah decided to drop some pounds and finally become a responsible adult, as he put it. To get himself in shape, Jonah became a jogging enthusiast and running became an excellent way for him to ease into more ambitious forms of exercise. Or as he told Kid Craddock in the morning, he started physically running instead of emotionally running. To accentuate all that cardio, Jonah took to doing 10 push-ups a day, eventually working his way up to 100. He also developed strict control over his diet, or at least he tried really hard to. He altered all of his eating habits and began enjoying a bunch of Japanese food, especially sushi. The hardest of all to give up was beer. In fact, Jonah really couldn't kick that vice completely, even though he's discovered it's the one habit that really seems to alter his appearance. He told the Jackie O radio show in 2013, It's so annoying because when I don't drink beer I get really really thin and when I drink beer I get a little bigger. After putting all that work into getting healthier and dropping some LOEs, by the time Moneyball was released, Jonah not only looked better than ever, but he'd go on to earn his first Oscar nomination as well. Jonah maintained a healthier lifestyle for a number of years after, and it wouldn't be until he landed the role of Ephraim de Viroli in 2016's War Dogs that he packed 40 pounds back on for the sake of his performance. 
Soon after the release of that film, however, it became clear that it was never Jonah's intention to stay that heavy. By this point in his life, he had discovered how much of his own body image played a role in his self-confidence, and he was determined to become as healthy as possible. After filming on War Dogs Wrapped, he hired a nutritionist as well as a trainer, and even began calling up some of his famous friends looking for advice. Friends like Channing Tatum. With Channing's encouragement, Jonah hit the gym harder than ever. In 2017, he was photographed working out in a Manhattan gym, jabbing, shadow boxing, and spending time with the trainer on some sweet combos. 40 minutes of boxing training would often end with about 20 minutes of weight room activity where he'd work out his abs and practice deadlifting. This developing passion for athletics eventually inspired Jonah to take up Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in 2018. Within two months of taking up the sport, Jonah was training four or five times a week and earning his first strike. With this accomplishment, Jonah really helped bring his journey full circle. After all, it was back in high school when he used to be bullied and abused by the kids who used to practice sports like Jiu Jitsu. Now he's in his 30s and ready to overcome all the obstacles that once made him feel so insecure. Ever since his latest weight loss, Jonah has remained svelte as ever and honestly in the best shape of his life. Which is probably why media outlets like Us Magazine and the Daily Mail like to drum up as much content about his transformation as possible. But here's the thing. Jonah really doesn't appreciate any of this coverage. After Daily Mail got their hands on some candid pics of Jonah shirtless and partaking in one of his new favorite pastimes, surfing, they posted an article about his impressive metamorphosis. Jonah then responded to this by blaming the exacerbation of his childhood insecurities on the press. It's a topic he would circle back to not long after because Us Magazine recently posted another article that detailed in pictures Jonah's transformation. Jonah took to Instagram once again, telling the media outlet that he knows they meant well, but whether they're championing him or not, any press that has to do with his body image hurts him more than it does any good. All right, so now we've taken a look at Jonah Hill's transformation over the years. He may not appreciate this video since he doesn't like any of the coverage about his weight loss and physical appearance, as we've learned, but either way, his health changes are definitely inspirational. What did you guys think about Jonah's transformation and about what he had to say about his body image struggles? I respect his honesty and realness, and I am sure a topic like that many can relate to. Be sure to drop me a comment down below about Jonah's before and after, and don't forget to tell me who's up next. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all next time. Bye!